whatever. Go through your boring. Hello, guys, and welcome to the second episode of the Lemon Hour, where we discuss citrusy and somewhat controversial topics. I'm going to introduce my cast to me to you guys right now. Um, we got Mr. Ian Lemon, uh, Lemon David. That's me. And then we have Lemon Heme over here, aka Herm. <coughs> <laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> and welcome to the Lemon Hour. Welcome to the Lemon Hour. <laughs> so, how's everybody's day going so far, right now? Um, I know this dude needs a, a fucking chair. A little bit of a late start, I'd say, fellas. Yeah, oh, a little we, bit. Yeah. Oh, dude, we were originally I, planning to do this like early in the morning. Fucking more <laughs> early in the morning. <laughs> do uh, my cousin, my, my cousin son, and fucking pull up in the morning. By the way, so bro, yeah. oh, of course. I've been up all morning. I just yeah. didn't want to wake you guys up. <laughs> That's yeah. that's hilarious. No shade, no shade. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, David. Fuckers. I'm sorry. It's well, a, it's it's a tight space. For these people that don't know, we are in a very like tight circle right now. Like we are in like the corner of the fucking room. Yeah. All our feet are on top. Yeah. Mere of each other. mere, oh, mere oh, inches. Oh, we we have a single a microphone. Pass around. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, we're in a circle. <laughs> yeah. Like <laughs> you, I could I could I could set that up. You know. Yeah. Take, get a roto on the mic. Uh, a roto. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Um. And for we, the nerds out there, we have a single mic. It's an AT2020, and, you know, I got this set up. I, 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 I high passed up to 100 me megahertz. Wait, no. Man. 100 hertz, and, 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 and put a glue hertz. compressor on it. It sounds really good, and I worked really hard on it, because the last episode sounded like fucking garbage. Oh, my God. I thought I listened to the last episode. I thought, I thought, it, was, I thought, I thought it sounded pretty good. Way better than I, I can do. <laughs> yeah. With yeah, my yeah. lack of fucking shit. Could have could have been way shitter. However, it sounded out good. To Ian for the for for these improvements. Mm -hmm. oh, of yeah. course, definitely. All right. So what is our uh, what are first our first our topics? Agenda. Yeah. What is our yeah, topics today? Would you pick for me? Is I don't know. Mm, let me see. I don't know if you have in politics. Dumb. Ye yeet. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Bro, fuck a politic, bro. No one cares about. Politics. Yeah, 2020. Uh, who gives a shit about that? Trigger Mike politics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Can David one v one a coyote? <laughs> Can David one v one, 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 one a coyote? This is some shit I think about way more frequently than mm -hmm. I'd like to admit. Okay, well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look on the Wikipedia page on how strong a coyote is. I've I've always they're like. Small versions of well, you guys they're not that strong. They're not that strong. That's what like, I'm thinking. So because my dogs like my dogs like right now are an accurate representation of What a coyote like size would be because okay. even though they're females what like kind of, what kind of dogs do you have? Like? I have two German short-haired pointers and uh, hey, they're, they're, they're not supposed to use Wikipedia man <laughs> <laughs> Wikipedia is an invalid source you can't use it. My something? asshole's invalid <laughs> Y'all Yo, fucking hear something? Uh, wait, wait, wait. What are you just gonna read off the coyote Wikipedia? No, I'm, I'm just, just, I'm just gonna, gonna try to see how strong this nigga is. I'm, I'm just gonna read about this while you guys talk about okay. it, and then I'll have something to say about it. Well, so Mike was oh. comparing his German pointers to coyotes. Yes. Um, well, as, a, as they're both females, and well, one of them's kind of a porker. She's not like <laughs> grotesquely fat, but she's uh -huh. just got some fat on her. She's about sixty pounds. And and my my oldest, she's about 50, 55 pounds, and that's about the accurate like weight for you know your average coyote, I'm assuming. And the males, the males are obviously bigger. They're going to be oh, yeah, bigger, like sixty to seventy pounds, hmm. a little bit bigger. Hmm. But it, like it's it, it may be a, a rabid dog, but as like a grown human being like you and I, I have no doubt in my mind you could Modern Warfare three snap that dog's neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you see that's yeah. the thing about coyotes is is they when they get to do that man. It, Oh yeah, fuck that. Fucking I don't wanna have to mash our ass, dude. Jesus <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Is he with that you ripped my fucking asshole apart, bro? Yeah. Fucking That shit always scared me as a kid in Pokemon Warfare. Where when you like fail to like snap the dog. Oh yeah. So he's just yeah. fucking eating you alive. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Well, hold on, just real, real quick, like a little off topic. Like like you remember in like survival and they send the dogs after yep. you and they have C four strapped to the Fuck fucking yeah. dogs. I forgot about that. I remember that shit. I was I was thinking like holy shit, they really just strapped C four to these Bro. fucking dogs and was like, go ahead. Fuck <laughs> that man. Shout out to Modern Warfare 3 Survival. That was Oh my god. It's not that bad. It was in my opinion. I fucked with it heavily. I, I that enjoyed was my it. shit, bro. Modern Warfare 3 Survival nigga. I, uh, better than anything else in that fucking game. 
Zombies All the Way. <laughs> yeah, Zombies yeah, All the oh, Way. Yeah. But survival oh, yeah. was, was also very good. Yeah, yeah. It was a classic, man. It's my childhood. Definitely. You know, my, my, mine was, was uh, the, the fucking the weird ass alien mode from Call of Duty Ghost. Extinction? Yikes. Yeah. The fuck? You know, uh, there's, you know uh, I, I, I took. Get it together, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, like, I, I, I kind of liked Extinction a little bit, but like, being like, you know, it's not, doesn't bring back much nostalgia for like zombies and shit like that. They kind of like tarnished the name of Call of Duty by putting aliens in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, they made a bold move by doing aliens yeah, and whatnot. Well, what the fuck? What the fuck are those? I don't know. They what was, just, what like, the fuck was Extinction? They're like, they're like, what the fuck was Call of Duty Ghost? They're like, they're like <laughs> rubbery, flappy, shit. like plungers that with teeth. Like, that's what they kind of look like. I I choose to I choose to forget <laughs> that any of that existed. I, I like I remember as like take the the those things that would chase you in the fog in transit and make an entire game mode. Or some shit. I fucking hated uh, those things. All the fucking naked gremlin ass niggas. The naked gr the the gremlins are in transit. I think transit because because you need to do so much shit running around the fucking map to you know get the jet gun, do the fucking Easter eggs. The jet gun sucks. And you you have to know the strat of how to fucking knife these dickheads. It's they they're a pain in the ass. Like if if all you had to do was avoid zombies and avoid lava. I feel like that'd be a lot Stay cooler. Stay in the fucking bus, bro. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's the that's, thing. Maybe, you know, if you're not on the bus, you know, you gotta dodge lava and hordes of zombies. But, fuck those gremlins. <laughs> I feel like Bus Straight Depot, I, I feel like the map Bus Depot by itself was better than Transit. You know, like, you know the starting room in Transit, like, and then the outside, like, the whole gas station whatnot? Like, that's just the map. Like, that's it. Like, that's kind of the world. Oh, just the I love it. Oh. I love it. It's so much better than transit. Like, I, feel, I get way more enjoyment. Right, uh, of course, it's rather, hard. That's I'd the whole point of it. It's hard. Get to, like the Olympia and the M14. I'd rather. And play, then there's uh, a box right outside the door that doesn't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would low key rather play uh, Bus Depot than than transit. Yeah. Booyah! Just because, just because, but well, Bus Depots, it's all in one space, and th there weren't any perks. There was just Mule Kick, right? Yeah. 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 Which is, it, it's challenging, but like. You know, on transit, you know, fucking good luck if you. You see, here's the funny thing is, it's a is I adventure, bro. Yeah, I I never played transit enough to get like good at it. So anybody who's like good at transit is probably like, oh, these guys are just scrubs. Well, there's Which, a, there's those one percenters. <laughs> yeah, I, right. I know how to play transit. I wouldn't say I'm good at like transit. Yeah, I wouldn't say I have the fucking temperament to put myself through transit, but I know how to play transit. Uh. Just waiting, waiting fucking 10 minutes to get to town and buy Juggernaug and then get to the fucking power plant, which I got trapped in. <laughs> Bro, that was my fucking shit when There's I was always what? that one gap, you have to always jump that one spot. Yeah. That one place. Uh, the catwalk. I always fucking, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, I always fall in yeah. that shit, man. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm trying to get um, Juggernaut, like, at the other side. Mm. Unpopular opinion, I think farm's better than transit, too. Farm is, oh, farm yeah, is a good map. I, like, I love yeah, farm. I love farm. I, I love fire. You guys, oh my gosh, you guys have to go on YouTube and if you just, this is what I've been doing the past like, like month I've been living here, like, just, I've been watching like zombie shit and they, re, like, these people on PC just make these maps, like they re, like they reimagine the maps and holy shit on like, like the graphics look fucking phenomenal. They look phenomenal and like reimagine like farm, reimagine town, uh, like reimagine bus depot, like, and since they're reimagined, they open up like, Instead of just the original map, they, they have different areas where you can open up the map more. Like, and you can do more instead of like the OG original, like that was just closed off and you could never buy it. Yeah. They have, you can buy other areas now. And it makes the maps like 10 times cooler and they actually have perks like the Wonder Fizz machine and whatnot. And it's actually really cool. Good old yeah. Wonder Fizz, classic. Yo, let's talk about um, or, uh, fucking Origins. Wow, what a, what a, <laughs> yeah. what a, what a, what a nah. map. Nah? nah? What? <laughs> nah, it's because I played all the fucking time. Like, uh -oh. like oh, oh, that, I, that, that mouse is fucked. I spent like oh, 60 God, hours like, playing it one week. Got, oh my God, that shit gives me PTSD. What, Origins? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this mouse. Sorry. That nigga is annoying. Did you guys, did you guys know <laughs> you can, you can get an elemental knife? <laughs> yeah. You, you can get an elemental knife. Uh, uh, the, the fucking fist, right? No. It's a knife. Oh my it's god, there's the knife. so much shit How to that map. How is there shit that I still don't oh know about god. in the year 20 Yeah, 20. So, so basically you have to do the, like, basically almost like 90% of the Easter egg and Origins, right? Mm -hmm. So once you do that, you have to get in the robot, one of the robots, down yourself, inside the head, and uh, one, of you, one of your other buddies has got to do something, or or nothing, I don't know. Yeah, but once you, once you down yourself in the head, and... Uh, 
in the head of the robot and you get revived or once you come back again um well you have whatever like staff or like whatever like you died with or, like that's going to be your element so like let's say you had like the fire staff or like the electric staff or whatnot um this guy uh, on youtube i forgot who he was but on like round 30 he was still one tapping with the elemental knife on round 30. wow actually i think it was round 33 to be exact round yeah. 33 and he was still one tapping him with the knife and it would clear a horde like you like if you're in a horde and you knife like the front guy it's gonna like it's kind of like the uh the wonder waff you know yeah we got to do that we got to do that ian well you just have to do the easter egg and whatnot Fuck off. oh my <laughs> god that's gonna be a little rough that's i've a gotten to the seventh step like eight times and i fuck it up every single time oh my god oh, <sighs> oh shit <laughs> he's, he's getting. Are you coming or dying? Yeah, getting he's getting, he's getting <laughs> origins flashback. The initial test subjects. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, Rita. Thank you very much. Oh, what, a, what, a, what stupid fucking dialogue. Fucking Maxis. <laughs> fuck, fuck that guy. I. <laughs> Yo, t let's talk about the starting pistol on that map. Oh my god, it's amazing. Pa pack a punched? Pack punched. That's the most OP gun in the game. Like the whole game. Yeah, kind of. Not gonna lie. I never the, really the, use it though. The only issue is that the only issue with it is just ammo. That's about it. But yeah. other than that, it it just it it'll melt through the Panzer like nothing. Oh yeah. Yeah, but try, try fucking like getting the boom and the pack punched by round eight like. It's oh, not geez. hard. It's possible. It's, it's possible. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. you just gotta activate all the the generators. Dude, and shit. we've like we've done so much shit before round eight. <laughs> oh yeah, and I'd I'd always give you so much fucking shit for using the shotgun because it fucks up our points. <laughs> Shotgun's fun to use. <laughs> I know. I, I like. like fuck. I understand it does fuck the points, but hey, it keeps keeps me alive. You know. Yeah. 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 Shotguns I, are more like get the fuck out of my way emergency mm, situations. Yeah. You, you fuck off, delete, delete, delete. <laughs> I thought that was so cool when they did that in Black Ops 2 with the KSG. When you upgrade it, it turns into uh, what, what's it called? The 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 Mist Maker. Ooh, the I think Mist I think, I think it's called. Yeah, it's, it's called like the Mist Maker. It's like a slug or something. Like yeah, it's that. a slug, and like if you're at the right distance, and like if you get like center mass, they just <laughs> they disintegrate. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. So cool how they did that. God, zombies used to have so much fucking death. They stayed there. Ha it has so much fucking death. What am I talking about? It's man? not. It's just not even like it's so hard. Like you know, I'm a well, I'm a zombie fan. Did you say death or depth? Depth. Okay. I I can't keep up with like the the ether story line now because like it's so convoluted and fucking retarded. Like, didn't they just end it? No. Yeah. Yeah, Black Ops Four. Uh, there's a, there's, I think. There's like well, a they, Black Ops Four story or something. Well, they right? they ended it in Black Ops Three, but like it's continued in Black Ops Four, no, like no, even they, further. They had like, like an official, like, official like especially where around the ending, where they're fighting died. fucking Nobody final died. boss, destroyer no, world type died. thing. <laughs> really? When? Yeah. In what game? Uh, in Black Ops Four. Is it in Black Ops Four? Yeah, I swear I saw. I've watched all that shit. I don't think like, they died. Like Ni Nikolai uh, uh, got oh, yeah. everyone in in a, in a circle. Oh yeah, you did they, kill them all. He killed they, them all. Yeah, they won the day, and, and then, then they were celebrating with Grog. Uh, Samantha. And Nikolai was like, "All right, drink up, everybody," and they all drank the Kool Aid. And all right, idiot. <laughs> The, our, our our dog was uh, sitting in my lap, and he just kind of scorpioned himself off of my lap. God, he does some weird shit sometimes. He's a puppy. He's, He's fucking retarded. A, sometimes <laughs> I watch him eat such shit, and then he just like shrugs it off and keeps playing. Dude, young things are made of rubber. You ever seen babies just playing made of fucking rubber? Yeah. They'll like... <laughs> you ever throw a baby at a wall? No. <laughs> <laughs> and he just bounces right back in your arms. Yeah, you, you play wall ball with the baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, <clears throat> I'm like wall ball with baby. That's why my kid has wall fucking ball baby. dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> so coyotes. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Off topic. Okay, okay. So could you? <laughs> okay, like, com... we gotta have have a like a, a breed of dog to compare the coyote strength with. We, we just compared uh, it to mine. Yeah, Mike okay, was comparing okay. it to it. But his, uh... on top of that, a coyote is a wild animal, and I feel like the, uh, wild animals are. Definitely smarter. You know, what I mean, they're, they have they're, to be. They're smart, but I'm a I'm a human. So You're a human, but like I can pick up a rock. Could and... you really fight a dog? Like, like yes. So, so here's yeah, the yes. thing. Here's the thing. Coyote, just, a coyote is definitely a threat. It's got fucking claws and some fucking fangs on it, right? Mm -hmm. However, <clears throat> coyotes are also at like perfect okay, kicking height. It, it, it's yeah, so if it comes is, up to me, I'll just true. fucking rock him with my it shin. It is dog fucking. Size. So not it, like it says size. here they're like 22 pounds or some shit. 
Come on. Pounds. That's weird because there's no way. Because like, height... to 40. Uh, 18 to 44. Hmm. Huh. There you go. So, right. we right. living in the Mojave Desert. Mm -hmm. I, I think about this very frequently. <laughs> oh, I'll just be walking or something, and you know, we, we live like at the very edge of town. Um, you know, like the desert is in our fucking backyard. So I'm like, man, what if a what if a coyote just strolled by? Because we've we've you can see them around. You know, they've uh, the coyotes used to chill in the in like the baseball fields at our at our high school. You know, early in the morning. And so I was like, man, if one of these coyotes just happened to feel like running my shit. Would I be able to run it shit? And it's like, you know, I'm like, I'm a fucking human. I'll just kick it right in the don't fucking they, mouth. Don't they you know? go in packs? No. Yeah, well, I mean, don't. yeah, I mean, yes, but like, it, it's Vegas. Like, if I've ever seen a coyote out here, they're usually, I've gone, I've went hunting for coyotes. They're usually by themselves. Oh, hmm. okay. They're usually by themselves, <laughs> but in some parts of the country, uh, yeah, they do travel in packs, and in some cases, they rival wolves. Which Whoa. I think, it, which I think is so fucking weird that fuck? you know you have a two hundred pound dog versus well, like Ian said, an eighteen pound to a forty. Wolves are like two hundred pounds. They're dude. They're Wolves like are thick, dude. dude they're dude. They're like taller than me, like on hey, hind legs. Holy I'm six fuck, two, yeah, bro. Exactly. Like they're eye level with me there standing must be up. Like maybe more coyotes than fuck. wolves. Then I remember you know? fighting the fucking. I think so. Uh, like the territorial numbers, like numbers yeah. over like. Oh you know, strength. yeah, in the one v one. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of um uh, uh, uh for for those wild nerds out there. Uh, like when I was when I was fucking <clears throat> leveling uh, uh, leveling my human and wow, and I was fucking fighting the dire wolves in 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 Elwood Forest and shit. Uh, I was like, that's so fucking unrealistic. Why would a wolf be that big? God damn. <laughs> God damn. They're 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 pretty big. They're really. For instance, you know, I, I could probably one v one a coyote. <clears throat> Probably could not one v one a fucking wolf. <laughs> no, yeah, I, no, I, even I no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. How many not. people would it take to to, to, to take, take down a wolf? Four or five. Wolf. Uh, like with their bare hands, like yeah. four or five. So like, what the fuck? No. If wolves Maybe travel more. in packs, holy it's shit, run. they could really like run like a group they, of people. They, they fuck up a whole tribe. They yeah. fuck up a tribe of humans. Fucking hellhounds, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> But, but okay, let's just take into fact that you know they're animals. They're not. They're animals. Not yes, they are hunters and or scavengers. You know, but, but they, they, they don't they, have big human brain. Yeah. So but, most likely, most of the time, they're they're actually just more afraid of you. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't really want to fuck with you. But and there are some cases. I'm sure that there are wolves that have hunted down people before for whatever reason. Like I'm not oh, talking. Definitely. Like, tra history. Tracked yeah. a human, hunted it down. Well, you guys ever seen the movie The Grey with uh, Liam Neeson? I have not. Holy shit, that movie was fucking phenomenal. Oh my gosh. I watched that movie so many times. Tell us about it. It's So this guy, he's a hunter in uh, in Alaska, and he's 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 depresso espresso because his wife died of uh, so, died of something in the hospital. And I think I've seen it. It's familiar. And he, he's, he ends up on this plane with a bunch of people, like just a commercial plane, and, you know, he wakes up, and the plane is falling out of the sky because it's frozen. The plane froze up and everything shut down on okay, the plane. What? <laughs> what do you do? No, I'm, uh, I'm I'm saying what to the fucking plane freezing in air. Oh, okay. Well, it's like it got so cold in the plane that it froze, like uh -huh. almost like like it froze up like the electronics, I guess. Okay. And the plane broke apart, and not a lot, not a lot of people survived. There's probably about eight or nine people that survived that shit. It's and and. You know, like, they, they were chilling by the plane for a good amount of time, and, you know, <coughs> Mr., you know, Qui-Gon Jinn over there went to go investigate this little crashed area with somebody still moving, and there was a wolf eating this, like, stewardess still, like, yeah. while, while, she, while she was alive, while she was alive. Like, you could, like, it wasn't like a, like a loud scream, it's just like a whimpering. Like, oh, like, man, like she's that's, all, like she's that's all, gnarly. Yeah, she's all opened up, like, getting eaten. You can't really see much, but you can tell, like, the motherfucker's eating, like, her guts and shit like that. And yeah, and eventually they have to leave because you know, at one point they, he stuck like a torch out. You know the cliche: you stick a torch out, and you can see all the eyes and shit like that. Ooh. Yeah, the whole pack was watching them. The whole pack was watching everybody there. And eventually, you know, they they, they had to leave. And so they're trekking through this snow, and like it's middle of winter, so it's Alaska, and uh, you know they're. they're the coyotes are tracking them for a long time, and they're picking them. They're picking them. Coyotes off. or wolves? Oh, the wolves. I'm sorry. The, wo <laughs> the wolves are picking them off one by one, as they're going along, and eventually, you know, uh, it's 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 a really sad story, and it's actually a really touching story as you like go along with it. Eventually, it's just Liam Neeson. But it's just by it ends up just being Liam Neeson by himself, hmm. and he's a, he's depresso espresso as as 
as much as he is. So he's just kind of like giving up on life and he kept going. And uh, towards the very end of the movie, you know, like he just finally, he has everybody's wallets that was with them. He was looking at all their family photos and it's real somber music playing and whatnot. And he's starting to look around and starting to get more eerie. And then you start to see, you know, bones around everywhere and like some, like some deer, like antlers lying around. And then lo and behold, here comes the alpha of the pack and it's a black wolf, you know, cliche black wolf, but this black wolf has been, you know, like, you know, following them and their pack, and lo and behold, he's in the middle of their fucking den. Oh, he's no. in the middle of their fucking <laughs> den, oh, and dude. so he uh-huh. starts saying this fucking poem that his fucking dad wrote, and it's actually a really like I don't for some reason this poem hits different for me. It's a real cool like I think it's a haiku or something, but he gets these uh, these booze bottles, the tiny booze bottles that you get on the planes. Mm-hmm. He duct tapes he duct tape him he duct tapes them to his uh, his knuckles, breaks them off on a rock and you know he's he's getting ready to you know score off with this this alpha right and uh movie ends wow end credit fuck and at the end of the credit at the end of the credits you know how like marvel at the end of the credits they have like a cut scene Uh well they did that but it was a quick little like five second like cut scene and uh it, it was the black wolf on the ground just breathing whoa just the black wolf breathing whoa what the and then it ends. Then the movie really ends right there. God and I was damn. like, "Holy shit!" So obviously, I'm pretty sure he died. Liam Neeson died. Uh huh. But he still got the alpha, regardless. Mm. I don't know, but like fucking Liam Neeson, man. Yeah, <laughs> what a six foot. Don't fuck with Liam Neeson. Dude, six foot five Irishman. Holy shit! Yeah, and he's Liam like, Neeson's he's six foot five. five? He's something like that. Fuck? He's tall. He's a tall motherfucker. He's a no fucking shit, giant. He's in all the fucking action movies. What the fuck? Dude, I think take you know, it my shit. You know, Count Dooku, I, mean, I don't mean to be that fucking. You know, Count Dooku. Nigga, I think Count, I think Who? Count Dooku was like six seven. I what think. The fuck. Christopher Lee Walken. I think. Holy Man. shit. Um. Fucking. I fucked with is... the Taken like movies as a kid. Not yeah, to be like was... cliche and shit. Like, yeah. Fucking Taken three was sick. I will fight. No, no, not. Oops, I said the wrong actor. Uh, um. The, the guy, the guy who plays is Count Dooku. He's pretty oh. fucking tall. Oh, Count Dooku, not Liam Neeson. Oh, I imagine Liam Neeson through that whole thing, and it makes oh, sense. Of... Okay, never mind. Count Dooku's 6'3". <laughs> I'm retarded. Is Liam Neeson Count Dooku? No. Liam Neeson yeah. is Qui-Gon Jinn. <laughs> I never really watched the prequels that much. Well, it's because you're uncultured, and you're gay. Yeah, shut up. Hey, right. <laughs> Yeah, Liam Neeson's 6'4". Alright. He's still tall. So, uh, in the event of a coyote attack, it's this, this is what I'm glad to see this. This is all comes from fucking WikiHow. Uh, it's straight up. It's it says coyote attacks are very rare, and there are in fact only two recorded cases in Canada and the U.S. Hmm. Um, but if so, coyotes really just kind of stay away from humans, and apparently they'll they'll okay. only like kind of give you the business if you're like going through their territory. Mm-hmm. They they do some they, they they shadow humans apparently like they'll just kind of follow you and make sure you're you're not like fucking with one of their dens or something like that. In the case of uh, this coyote wants to run your shit, you uh, you know there's no fucking silly thing like it, it, it's cool. You just you, you got to stare down the coyote <laughs> and be like, yeah, dude, I'm a fucking human. What are you gonna do? And literally, it, it, they refer to it as hazing. <laughs> Haze the animal. Hazing. <laughs> Fucking okay. stare it down, make yourself big and imposing, <laughs> throw rocks and shit at it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I'm uh, like, alright, uh, that, that's cool, that's cool. What if he throws a rock back at you? <laughs> I, th- then you fuck, you dip. The article says, don't turn your back to a coyote because that's like a sign of submission or something like that. And they'll be like, alright, now I can get him, right? Back so, shots. Like, if, 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 you know, if, if, if Coyote happens to throw a rock at you, you just fucking just dip. Um, <clears throat> this is just in the event of a, an encounter. That dude choking himself? No, he's protecting your neck. Protecting your oh. neck, right? Avoid harming, well, I mean, let's see. In case of coyote, coyote attack. Let's say avoid harming the coyote. Is that literally what it said? Yes. Avoid harming the coyote. Are you kidding me? In that do type of situation. Use, oh, do not use poisons. Okay, that, I guess that makes. Oh, I guess okay. that. Makes, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. I have a poison. I have a fucking bottle of poison up my ass right now. Yeah. Right. And I'll just fucking whip it out, drizzle it on some meat, and say, "Yeah, here, here you go, boy. <laughs> go eat that." And I like toss it. How do you get the poison out? 
Ian, Ian, quick, quick, pull my finger, pull my finger. <laughs> and this coyote, pull my finger. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess I guess there's really no uh, strat to the one v one, besides uh, stare it down and damn, make sure the coyote knows what's up. It's not that much of a threat. Yeah, and uh, even, even, even if he does run at me, I'll just fucking. Just <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh, I saw this video. Lock him in the jaw, man. I, I saw this video of this, yeah. of this pit bull, like, at full, like, speed, just running at this guy, right? Uh -huh. And this guy took, like, a kicking position or whatnot. Like, but right. he, he literally, like, field goal kicked this thing underneath the jaw, killed it instantly. This yeah. pit bull, bro, I'm like, first of all, what a one in a million chance of you, like, punting a pit bull underneath the jaw and killing it instantly. Like, that's a, that's like, imagine that. Just imagine that. <laughs> Especially, like, the jump distance those dogs have, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. that's so lucky. <laughs> like, that is so, so lucky. Yeah, that's that's my strat uh, for uh, in the event of a coyote. Just fucking field goal it. <laughs> well, I field goal it right in the jaw. Well, I've wrestled my dogs before, and since I guess they're lighter than my dogs, you know, that wouldn't be that much of a challenge. But you can literally just sit on top of its chest and just... Hold it there, you know. Whether right. what, and like and once you're on top of his chest, whether you want to do with it is up to you in that moment, you know. Like to the to the coyote. Yeah, you could really choke it to death, or like, I would just do, do whatever. I'd probably just clock in the jaw and knock out one of its teeth and be like, yeah, you still want to run it? Come on. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely gonna want to run your shit because one, you're pinning him to the ground, so it's fight or flight for that animal. I, I, I'm yeah. bomb that nigga. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> Into the fucking cactus. <laughs> but most likely in that situation, if you're sitting on top of his chest. And you're, it's a coyote. Uh, your only choice in that predicament is to kill it. You know what I'm saying? Because that thing, if you just, just if you just get off of it while you know it's still alive, it's gonna fuck you up. Or it's gonna try and fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? See, if if I've got it pinned down, I would probably like I would send it a message. <laughs> I'd pin it down and fucking like I said, I'd <laughs> clock it right in the jaw. I'd be like, yeah, motherfucker, I can hurt you. <laughs> now and now, run the fuck away. All right. <laughs> It's not. I don't think that's gonna work like that because, like I said, it, if you like, it's in a fight or flight situation because it's pinned. So yeah, so, so I'll, 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 make, I'll make him flight. <laughs> I'll make him Plus, run. that nigga doesn't speak English, so you're talking to yourself. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, the, um, the the message. Uh, I'll write it down in my knuckles and then just say, I'll, I'll, "Coyotes I'll, just like what was I'll, this thing? What? <laughs> I can't what? read. I, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Whatever. Fuck. Stop, <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm biting his neck. Fuck this. <laughs> fuck this guy. What? 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 The fucker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so can David one v one a coyote? Yes. Most likely. <laughs> Most How bad likely. Would fuck you up, though? Not that bad, to be honest. Right. They've got. They've got some canines. They, they do. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, they can probably tear you up. You'll, You'll, get hands, You'll get some stitches. You'll get some stitches. Oh yeah. Yeah. If, okay. If it gets a hold of you. Let, now let's let, now let's step it up. Like coyote, um, German Shepherd. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Your your chances of surviving a German Shepherd are. No. Are, I don't even are about want to the try, same. man. Really? They're about the same. It's really? A, it's a fucking dog. Even, it's a dog. It's a German Shepherd, man. You I'll have fuck so with them. look, dude. You have height, weight, and strength over that thing. Yeah, it's the dog is strong and whatnot. I but I see people like get their shit run by German Shepherds all the time on cops. Like, <laughs> fine. That's because they're well. For one, like people are definitely afraid of dogs. Oh, uh, okay. Right. I'm not afraid of dogs. No cops. Like if I coyote, like either. I'll be, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be scared. Like if there's a German Shepherd like full speed running at me, like you're not fucking running away. That's right. for that's for damn sure. You're not running dog, away. Dog has four double legs. Double legs. <laughs> yeah. So, so your only chance is stay there and get, get, get into the punting <laughs> position. <laughs> There's yeah. Attempt. You could you get could, ready for this you field could, goal. You, know, you, could, you, know, you, you could King Kong pry the mouth off the, of your body. You know it's yeah. If he catches your hand with his mouth. Oh, and so it's elbow, so elbow. He so yeah. bites you. He, you bite back. If, if, in the case of a wild, his mouth is already in your arm, so you might as well kiss that nigga. Look, dude, goodbye. even, even if, he's, if he's latched onto your arm, like like right onto the forearms. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah got, he's, he's got lay into he's him. Got no, what you, what lay into he's got him. two eyes. He's got two eyes, and right. I'll take them both up. Like, like <laughs> he'll have like the time Tyson. to even do so. <laughs> he's fucking yanking your ass to the fucking ground. Oh, that's <laughs> true, dude. <laughs> He'd probably be trying to drag my shit around. You you pull my tights. You fucking bite that nigga. Bite, bite, bite his it. ear. Jeez. Bite that bite nigga's that ear. ear off. <laughs> fucking. Why? Yeah, why am I more scared of a German Shepherd than a coyote? <laughs> uh, because a German Shepherd weighs more than a coyote? I guess so, yeah. Straight Pit up. Pit bulls. 
Uh, plus, they look more scary. Eh. Yikes, dude! That's like 50-50. <laughs> nah, I'm not really. I'm not really terrified of pit bulls either. Yeah, they're strong as shit. Like, don't get me wrong. They're they're about as strong or stronger, but. Dude, when I I'm wrestle good. my pit bull, he fucking wins most of the time. <laughs> well, Ian, your skin and bones to begin with. <laughs> Dude, I can I can wrestle that that dog. You know, I don't need technique. You know, I I, I can wrestle that dog. But goddamn, he just starts going all retard mode and now <laughs> now imagine if he was like mangy and fucked up and was like kill human, kill human, kill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? fuck, man. Exactly, he totally <laughs> fucked me up. And I, I, I boot the snoot. That's what you gotta do. You gotta boot the snoot. Boot really the, fucking hard. Boot the snoot. Like, boot the snoot. Boot the snoot. Like, boop. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> just, just give, give, give the nose a little love tap. I like, I like. Oh yeah, to like a mangy, chance, raging pit bull that wants to kill you. But then you, just you got a little poop snoot. Like, what is this a quick time event? Like, I'll, like, I'll, like, I'll <laughs> like have a chance to punch him in the nose. It's, it's like, it's like how you do it with a shark or, or something. I was, something I like was that. just really? about to say, I yeah. like how. Yeah, because my first thought of like, if I encounter a shark in the water, is punch that nigga's nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <Bah! laughs> I better punch him. I mean, I. I... In the eye socket. Oh yeah. Good old eyes. Can you like even reach a sh shark's eye sockets? I have a 71 inch reach. I'm pretty sure I could reach a fucking if eye socket. Tried, have you ever seen a shark? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. mean, fuck, Me. dude. I, dude, if okay, <laughs> if a shark is coming straight at you, and you try and use you, use your wingspan to, I I don't think I I'm not sure you can fit your arms I th around. I, th I think you're underestimating like. <laughs> How, like, how I think you're underestimating sharks. <laughs> uh, not yeah. really. Not like, really. I, I swam with sharks. Like, right, I'm not right. even kidding. Mike, Mike, Mike what, yeah, what, if, what, if what if it's a hammerhead? Then what? Yeah, what about that, man? <laughs> I don't know. Because I never swam with a fucking hammerhead. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dude, I guess. Yeah, hammerheads are like the most likely to attack humans. You guys are hammerheads. I don't want to hear it. So what, nigga? What are you, huh? Shut up, you fucking white labella. Yeah, you you is built like a bull shark. Okay, so. So we're gonna rename this episode to We Run Mike Shit Again, episode two. <laughs> uh, Alright. Don't fuck with sharks. Uh, no, note to self. Do not fuck with sharks. Noted. Right. David and Herm party in the hood. David, just so you know, we're kinda in the hood. Herm to me. <laughs> oh yeah. What? <laughs> what? This, this is a nice story. This is okay. The story of David and Herm yeah. partying in the hood. Yeah. Um yeah, okay. I'll I'll yeah, we'll tell the story that I gotta I gotta head out. Alright. Um, we can, can popcorn this shit if you want. It all it all started with a lamb bonfire. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, I think that was Texas's uh, birthday. Wasn't yeah, it, it was. He was he was the and only guy. He yeah. No one brought any drinks. Was one of those losers. <laughs> fucking you know, sure. No one brings their own fucking shit. I mean, we I didn't bring my own shit, so I, I right. can't talk. <laughs> but, so, so so Texas was the only one drinking in that entire bonfire. Everyone was just chilling. He had like a thing of like those little balls of fireball. Apparently that fucked him up. Maybe he had more drinks. Like homeboy got fucked. Yeah, <laughs> he was uh, he was pretty sloshed, as uh, as you know this this guy usually tends to do. So it was one of those environments where like he was the only one having fun, <laughs> yeah. and we were all just kind of like there with our fucking dicks in our hands. Like, all right, well, what up? <laughs> um, what did he do? Did he, he, he threw up, passed out on someone's couch yeah, or something like that? Yeah, like uh, uh, someone struck. Yeah. He always like passes out and or throws up on somebody's <laughs> truck. So, <laughs> so our buddy Texas fucking you know dies of alcohol poisoning again. And, uh, again, yeah. <laughs> as he does. Uh, that's not, that fucking sounds like Texas already. Right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, man. So Herm and I are like, now oh, what the fuck? And uh, I hope that nigga's all right right now, man. Shout out to Texas, bro. Shout out to You're Texas. You're a fucking animal. <laughs> You're a fucking animal. <laughs> <You're> a <laughs> oh my goodness. We should we should F probably fucking grog god. Find a coaster for that thing, Mike. There's not a single coaster in this house. Yeah. Fuck my thing. So um, we we meet uh, a mutual friend by the name of Victoria, who was like, "What's up, guys? Shit's lame. You, you guys want to head out?" And we were like, "Yeah, dude. Let's uh, oh, yeah. let's let's find another party to roll up to, right?" And um, you know, if if you're in Vegas, you you might know about this. Uh, there's there's this guy. In Vegas, called Vegas Addies. Oh God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> On uh, <laughs> oh God, let me. Just, Mike, Mike sounds like you got something to say. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's up, Mike? What's if, up? If you're a guy, um, prepare to spend all your fucking money to go to the lamest fucking parties imaginable. Oh, and you girls get in for free, so. 
It pays to have tits. Yeah, what the fuck, man? That's some bullshit. I'm not, but, dude. Like, like they got ridiculous recently. Like I haven't been on Vegas Addies in so long, but yeah. it's like there's some of these. Like it's fifty dollars for guys. What the fuck? It's like okay. fifteen for girls. I'm like, listen, bro. What are they? You're on a you're mansion lying. party or something? You're lying. Shit? Fifty to I'm not even. Ca- I'm not even capping. What not kind even of capping. party is it? Like a fucking. Like, some of them are like Airbnb or like just a regular is it like house a party. party. Up like in the ump of fucking blimp or something. Fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> Strobe lights. Not even. Shit. No. Like like look, bitches. The fucking Drake showing up. Like that was going on. Dude, fucking my, ninja. <laughs> I don't know, but like, I don't know why that nigga there, but ninja. <laughs> I just saw that dropping music. But yeah, oh, it, is it, that Tim the Tatman? <laughs> yeah, Vegas Addies is a bunch of bullshit. Oh, good grief. Yeah, you guys keep going. Oh, we gotta, we gotta go, go ahead. ahead yeah, can uh, oh, fucking okay. Um, yeah, so we decided to go to one of these parties that was on Vegas Addies' um story. And which was all the way down fucking Henderson. Oh gosh. We were at the other side of the fucking city at this point, like, in the middle of the desert, and for how long, it's like oh, half an hour or some shit, I was just, like, I just fell asleep, man, I was that bored with the fucking fire. Uh, so we all, so we go all the way to Buttfuck Henderson, and, and, lo and behold, another lame-ass party, <laughs> but, um, wow. like, I, it's because, like, it, it was because, like, we got there really late, like, we got there around 11. And we, fucking, we left the, the bonfire at 9. So yeah, I, I guess everyone fucking left at the point. And there was just lights, there was like, the fucking like, lights in this nigga's house was still on and like, these niggas were fucked up. I, I don't even think they were just drinking or smoking, but like... You um, something else. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Anyway. <laughs> um, so at the end of that, we like pretty much... David pretty much just drank all their grog that they had left, like... <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um... When was this? Fuck. Um... When was this? This is a while ago. This is, if yeah. you're talking about Texas's birthday party, I was at that fire, so that's probably, like, almost a year ago. Wow. Was it while I was in California? I don't know. Uh, Where were you almost a year ago? In California? Not there you probably. go. Alright. Continue. Oh. <laughs> Where was I? Um, David Trinko, all the rug. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So um, oh, and before that, like, and before we went in, like, these there was like another car telling us like, oh, don't go to that party. That fucking that place like it's fucking trash. I'm like, oh, all right, we go in anyway. Um, and I'm back. <laughs> All right. Where, where where are we? Are we in the hood yet? Not yet. <laughs> we're almost we're almost we're halfway there. So we we just entered the lame ass party. He drank all their grog. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> Fucking first lame ass party. Oh fuck, that was weird. We pulled up and there there was a bunch of people outside, and uh, we were like, all right, well let's dive in. You know, see what's going on. We 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 were talking to like one group of people. <laughs> we were like just outside the house and we were like, hey man, what's going on? You know, is it is it cool here? What's going on? And they're like, nah, man, sh- shit's fucking lame. We're heading out. And I was like, all right, well, you know, I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. <laughs> so the three of us go into this house, and it's like, <laughs> there's like a strobe light, some music playing, and like a handful of people <laughs> uh, just fucking sitting around. There's it's this one weird fucking guy who was like on some shit. We talked about this guy yet? Oh, that... That was lanky that? ass nigga. <laughs> dude, that, that dude who looked like he, he was... Had, he was the dude with the... He was like... That like... That tall skinny nigga. Like that, 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 that that skinny... Wearing under yeah. armor. The, those under armor dudes. Yeah. He, he had a weird look in his eye. <laughs> yeah. The homeboy looked like he was... He was uh, looking, He literally had a man aneurysm right, like, right there. He looked like he had... Uh, he, he was on some weird shit. <laughs> so, you know, this guy is like... Eyeing us up and shit like that. And... It's whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. You know what's, what's going on, man? And then there was that other fucking chubby ass Mexican guy who was like, oh yeah. yeah. A guy gave off a weird fucking vibe. He uh, brings I, me I, a, I, brings me a bottle of water, and I'm like, oh. He's like, no. Here, try some of this. And I'm like, oh, water. And he goes, no, it's perk water. And I'm like, what? A what? <laughs> what? Oh gosh. What? And I'm like, sure, I'll take a swig, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Did you really? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was just fucking water. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, we get in there, and luckily, thank fuck, these people have a bunch of fucking Modelo <laughs> sitting on the counter. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, don't mind if I do. 
right? He, he this this dude drank like four bottles, like it was a little water. <laughs> I just start I just start taking their beer and I'm just fucking downing it. <laughs> I'm like, whatever, I'm I'm fucked, dude. There's alcohol, I'm gonna drink, right? And so we're 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 chilling, waiting for some shit to happen, and then there's this other group of people. This is when we meet D up, right? Oh yeah. And okay. we, we we make friends with this other group of uh, fucking people. This one guy. I don't remember his real name. I do know him on Instagram as D Up though. He's a fucking producer or something. I, I would shout him out. Uh, I think, but I, I don't know how many fucking U's are in his name. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we make friends with this guy, and he's like, "Yeah, dude, there's there's this fucking better party we're we're about to head out to." I'm like, "All right, cool. Uh, let's grab some 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 fucking herb." <laughs> and oh, that's how we met him because he had a, he had a, he had a nearby plug. Yeah, remember that? Literally around the, like around the corner. Yeah, like house. right right the fuck around the corner had a friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, let's let's go pick up, let's go to this new party, and let's actually have some fun. Oh, we were we were <laughs> we were um at the lame party. They were we were planning like. They wanted us to like, like bring it to their public <laughs> setting. We, oh, just, yeah. we just left them, bro. Dude. We just ditched them. <laughs> yeah, we were like, we, fuck y'all. We, told, we were like, oh, sh-. They, they were like, yo, these guys are gonna go pick up. Yeah, fucking come back. We're gonna get lit. And we're like, yeah, guys, see you soon. <laughs> we'll be right back. I, I, you like pocketed. I like, took like five fucking bottles in my pocket and just left. Yeah. <laughs> you just, I took another dude's Modelo, drained it in yeah, the fucking he, yard. Yeah, we walking out the door just. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so we went and we picked up, and then we headed, like, oh man, it's a lot of time has passed already. God damn. damn. How long has it been? It's, we're uh, approaching the 42 minute mark. Oh wow, really? No, already? Right? Oh wow. Oh, shit. Well, time goes by when you're having a lemon cast. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Thank, thank you. <laughs> okay. Continue. So we uh, we drive what 15, 20 minutes to the other side of town, and uh, <laughs> I'm looking around and I'm like, man, this place looks like the fucking. I think I think we're getting into the trenches. <laughs> Pull up to this guy's house. He's got like a big fucking security fence around it, right? And we pull up. This, uh, I probably had like five bucks on me. This the price was like, I don't know, four bucks per, four bucks per guy, girls get in free, some shit like that. So I go up and I'm like, shit. <laughs> I go up and there's, it's like this shorter Mexican guy, right? <laughs> With like, like, ah, God damn, what's, what's the fucking, ah, I, I don't know how to describe his face, but he, oh, he, he he was a he was like a he looked like Snoop Dogg. He was, he, a, cholo, looked, he was a cholo Snoop. He Dogg. looked like cholo Snoop. He had the entire like um, bone structure of fucking Snoop. You know what that's, I mean? That's that's the one. Yep. He had that <laughs> Chihuahua nigga. <look. laughs> Fucking Beverly Hills Snoop. <laughs> Beverly Hills. <laughs> no, I can't. So so we go up and this guy. Uh, you know, this guy comes up and he's like, hey, what's up? You know, it's, it's this much to get in. And I'm like, hey, shit, man, I only got like five bucks, but I got a girl and some bud. <laughs> and he said, shit, bro, say no more. <laughs> come on in. <laughs> so we come in and this guy is in his front yard. He's got one of those like ghetto barrel fires going on in the front, right? He's got some homies chilling around him, right? Uh, Dude's got a fucking machete. <laughs> oh, hey, no, not a machete. It was like a little like pirate, like a little pirate. It was like thing. a fucking was Bowie it a knife. Scimitar? No. Do they have curved swords? It was like a scimitar. Dude, curved dude's swords. got. Dude spent three thousand points on a fucking Bowie knife, right? <laughs> <laughs> he, he goes back to his his little barrel fire and he has his Bowie knife and he's just chopping at the fucking wood, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Homie stays letting everyone know don't fuck with him. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. Thanks for letting me in and we we go up his driveway into his backyard and We meet uh, we meet the people who sent us over there, right? <laughs> fucking Herm over here meets this fucking big-ass white dude. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this fucking big Mormon looking white Yeah, kid. <laughs> with the sketchers the khakis like, <laughs> oh my a gosh. Mint, It's like a mint blue polo shirt <laughs> Oh my god. Um, blonde, blonde bowl cut that works. <laughs> oh wow. He fucking works. But and... uh, let me tell you guys. 
<laughs> this motherfucker can roll. <laughs> See, I need to have two wraps to roll a fatty, right? This dude had needed one. He rolled a fatty. So I'm like, it was like cigarillo size too. Like, oh, wow. God damn. <laughs> you know, if he just pulled one wrap out of like uh, the Swisher, it's just like, instead of just dude, that's what it looked like. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> oh so, shit! Wait, we don't have video. <laughs> yeah. So, so Herm instantly makes friends with this guy, right? <laughs> they go over to the table. They just start fucking rolling, rolling up a fucking storm, <laughs> right? <laughs> I've got like a uh, fucking Modellos in my pocket. I go up to a secondary <laughs> barrel fire in the backyard. Got a big fucking tree branch sticking out. Shit's on fire. So people hanging around. And the, the, it was really weird, this juxtaposition, because that big, like, Mormon-looking white kid who's rolling with Herm <laughs> also has, like, a group of, like, high school white kids, kind of. They, they, they look way out of place. Yeah. <laughs> probably no, probably just, a, just as much as I looked. But this is a weird-ass, like, dimension I was in. Just these, <laughs> Dude, they, they, it was so out of, these things are so out of place. Like... <laughs> They look like how they get here. <laughs> textbook like centennial white Mormon kids, you know, oh, wow. in in the middle of the hood, <laughs> fucking. They really just said fuck it. The church is in school, D you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, fuck it. We smoking. <laughs> fuck a Mormon school. <laughs> so so, I go over to the fire, and there's this bit bigger bigger Mexican guy sitting there, and I'm like, hey man, what's up? What's going on? You want some Modelo? <laughs> and he goes. Sure, brother, you want some tequila? <laughs> and we just start fucking passing this bottle back and forth. And I'm like, shit, bro. And we just start fucking shooting the shit. Ah, oh, fuck, waiting for, for these dudes to roll up some doobies. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, then what happened? Fucking... Um, what else happened? Um, we, finished, we finished rolling. We had yeah. two fat fucking blunts, I believe. And yeah, we burned through as real quick, man. Yep. I was like, all right, one for the front yard, one for the backyard. <laughs> So we, we 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 go over to the fire. Yeah, we cut. We we took fucking big niggas blunt. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. And we just smoked that shit. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. We just went to like went to Chola Snoop Dogg and like, yeah. <laughs> we just vibe with him. It was uh, it was sick. So we we smoked like I felt like two blunts in the backyard. I think. Uh, Child's play. We, yeah. That's right. <laughs> we're, we're smoking. We're drinking. What's up? <laughs> you wanna, would you like to be a guest on the on the lemon hour, Tessa? Fuck yeah. <laughs> so, might might be a bit longer than an hour. It might be a little bit. It's okay. Yeah, we're not podcast. Lemon hour and the a half. lemon hour and a half. <laughs> lemon hour and some. <laughs> so you know, we, we finished smoking in the backyard, and we're like, all right, we're gonna go to the front yard and you know smoke with this with this host, just to be like, you know, thanks for letting us in, ch in cheap and all that. Uh, <laughs> So we we go to the front yard and we start we start vibing with uh, Max with Cholo Snoop Dogg, and we're like, hey man, we're fucking spark sparking up this blunt. You want to join? He's like, hell yeah. We're just it's like the three of us, right? Just smoking around this dude's barrel fire in the front. Whole time, whole time we're smoking. Dude has his fucking Bowie knife. He's just chopping at the fucking wood with it. Like, goddamn, god, like <laughs> fuck. It was. <laughs> a powerful statement. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it felt like. I, yeah. I, I, it must have been. <laughs> he, he's talking about like, yeah, like, you know, fucking people live around me, you know, they respect me, you know, they, they don't not, you know, they don't fuck with me, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I can see why. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. He's got a knife. <laughs> that was a big fucking knife, dude. dude okay, so cool. like, I got I got a couple big ass fucking guns that are longer. <laughs> yeah, the, so the size of Man, this I knife. Got this small fucking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Herm just slapped his hand on the beanbag, indicating he had really yeah. big meat. Yeah, yeah, my hand. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's a problem, man. I, I need I need. Dude, events. if you got a boner, you'd pass out. <laughs> I'd lose half my wardrobe, man. My lower half of my wardrobe. <laughs> I have to wear a tunic everywhere I go. It's my boner's too big. The I fucking you gotta wear a kilt, <laughs> like that. <laughs> that go that covers the entire like leg, man. You know. But 
the 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 oh, size yeah. the size <laughs> the size of this guy's blade compared to like the size of his body it just it, it must have just made the knight look bigger all right was he just tiny? Was yeah. he, tiny? he was a little guy yeah he was a little he was a little, sure he was a little guy <laughs> That's a little tiny guy it's just like <laughs> very... he was compensating for something like a <laughs> very stone wall hey, face and then he just dude he he had like a he had like a baggy like uh, sweatshirt on and fucking he just had this fucking knife out. He looked it was like, like, <laughs> it was like, dude, holy fuck! He looked like a swashbuckler. He looked like, he looked like gin and juice, Snoop. Like, <laughs> don't his drip. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, yeah. Little little moral of the story: Don't party in the hood. They're not fun. They're uh, weird. <laughs> nah, nah. Speaking of the hood, <laughs> I for, I forgot to mention this. Uh, we 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 wrote down on the quote. Oh at, yeah. As we pull up to the house. <laughs> Uh, where we're like getting out and walking up the driveway to the backyard and Herm leans over and whispers into my ear He goes, oh by the way David just so you know, we're kind of in the hood <laughs> And I look at him and I'm like, I know <laughs> Like bro, I'm not <laughs> I'm, I may be fair-skinned, but I'm not blind. <laughs> well, I mean you're pretty you're, you're about you're pretty dark in my opinion. Eh. Hey, man. No, he's, 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 he definitely, definitely looks white. Yeah. That, that's why I I'm looked saying. white hey, as man. fuck probably pulling you, up to that part. <laughs> you exactly definitely looked out of place. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, just, I'm just, I was just saying. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we, we finished smoking with the host in the front, and we go back to the, uh, uh, to the backyard, and we're hanging out. <laughs> just uh, drinking a little bit, fucking smoking whatever weed is left. And uh, this, this chubby Mexican guy. Who was who I was shooting the shit with, you know? It's like half of the Mormon kids had left by now, mm -hmm. and there was like one or two fucking like white Mormon kids who were st still kind of hanging around, and uh, fucking chubby dude just leans back and goes, "Yeah, so guys, you know, this is my this is my fucking I forget what he says." <laughs> Pulls out a fucking oh, yeah. Mac 11 oh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, from Mac under 11. one of the, pulls a Mac 11 out of one of his rolls of fat. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at it, I'm like, Jesus, all right, okay. <laughs> Yo, you guys, real quick, you guys ever seen that that video of the fat black guy that pulled out like two pistols underneath each one of his titties? <laughs> Shit, I never let him go. Just killing in his titties. Yeah, for real. That's exactly what this chubby guy it's did. Like a, like a little trap door. Mind. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, God damn, that's 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 an automatic weapon. <laughs> mm. This this guy was like, uh, what do you mean? Mm. Well, okay, because my brother's stepdad has a Mac 11. He has two Mac 11s, and they're semi-automatic. That's that's fine. It's it's different when you're like in the. Hood. Okay, well, how do you know? <laughs> right how do you know it's automatic in the hood? Like one there, of my there. white friends had an automatic AK. If you don't remember from the last episode, and he right. was white. <laughs> oh, and he's white. Uh, I'm, uh, it's not like race has anything to do with how fast your gun shoots, but regardless, I was like, Ooh, that's a that's a firearm, all right. And I was like, oh, I'm also in the trenches. Ooh, I wasn't in the trenches. That was just that was. You're the you're the trenches of D Street. That's what I said. <sighs> yeah. yeah. I, see, that's the thing is, I don't I don't think we were near the alphabets. Alphabets are the real fucking. No, I'll, 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 it's a joke. Oh. It's a joke. Yeah. What's well, yeah, I know. You don't know about the alphabets? No. So there's a in in Vegas. If if you know if you're from Vegas, you might know. For for our non-local listeners, there's a there's an area of town sort of. It's like, like near. It's not near the strip. It's like, in like the center butt fuck of butt fuck of town. Yeah, it's like the northern part, like away from the strip. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like northeast. Yeah. North. Yeah. Yeah. Right North around there. East, but not quite. But I think it's by the Fiesta Hotel. Mm -hmm. Further. Further? No, yeah, it's well, that's, that's on the other, that's the, on the opposite side. Oh, okay. I yeah. probably got it fucked up. Ah, shit. Ah, I fellas, I, I gotta head out. All right, Herm, thank right. you for joining the uh, podcast today. Uh, I will I will bid all of you adieu, <laughs> ladies, gentlemen, and fellas, and lemons. <laughs> Adios, limo. Uh. So, uh... <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Herm, Herm is out. <laughs> Herm makes his escape. Um, so the alphabets are like, it's it's like one of the fucking ghettoest fucking places in Vegas. They're all the all the streets are named after letters. Uh, at, uh, the, letters, the letters or numbers. Letters or numbers. Yeah, that's that's why it's called the alphabets. There's A Street, B Street, C Street, D Street. Uh -huh. So, you know, when when Mike made that uh the trenches of D Street. 
analogy. That's exactly where my mind went. All right. I remember it. <laughs> we drove through that area once with my my very white ex girlfriend, <laughs> and I was just looking around and I was like, dude, just. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm gonna sound white as fuck, but I was like, man, I'm, whew, this place is kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also, it's not, it's like, uh, you want to say ghetto, but it's more so like, it's just really old. Like, it's a really old part of Vegas, and it's really run down. It's not taken care of anymore to where the point now it's like, it is ghetto, but it's it's more so just really old. And like not taken care of anymore. Yeah, and ghetto is fun. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what makes it ghetto because it's not taken care of anymore. You know, it's it's all run down, a bunch of homeless. Like like you you can go like not one block and there'll be a shopping cart and a tent right next to it. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like Freeside basically. If you've played New Vegas, <laughs> yeah. it is it's 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 Freeside basically. Yeah, D Street is like not the equivalent yeah. of Skid Row, but like it's kind of like that. It's about as close as the Vegas. Almost it's, Vegas. Yeah, it's, it's as close as you can get. Here, yeah, I guess. This just not really needles or human <laughs> shit in the street. <laughs> Jinx. There's one. Uh, there's one time I was walking by uh, uh, my mom's apartment and then I just I just see a, a meth pipe, you know, and a pile of dirt. <laughs> I like to point out to the audience that uh, <laughs> Lemon Lemon Ian over here is picking his toes on top of Lemon David's cock. Hey, 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 hey. They yeah. can't see it. They can just hear it. You didn't have to expose me like that. No. Shh. It's okay. It's not like anybody's going to fucking know who you are or we <laughs> yeah. are anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, fuck. Herm, damn it. We were going to talk about uh, the Hawaiian night marchers with, uh, uh, with Herm. I guess we got that next guess, time. I guess that's next week. <laughs> Let's see. Colorado. Is the grass greener in Yeah, we, we didn't get to talk about Colorado. That's all right. Uh. All right is, this, uh, is this where we... End it or um, no? We got, or, or we got a couple it. bits. Bits. Yeah. Bits. Right. Insert cricket. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like what? We you never discussed this with us. I don't know. What bits? I don't know. I we just it. we just got to improv. Come up with it uh, right now. Yeah. For for example, Ian is. Uh, so uh, I was in Saudi Arabia, right? And uh-huh. okay. Two Jews walk into the bar. Oh wait, <laughs> not not in that country. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Mike would uh, have a fucked up yeah. joke segment. That, that could be good. Um, uh, 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 Today, Junior. Uh, uh, sh- shut up, Mike. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Mike. What, 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 what do they call a, a Jewish priest? I don't know what. I, I don't know. What are they called? <laughs> it's uh, a, a, rabbi. a rabbi. A rabbi. A rabbi and uh. a Catholic priest are walking down the street. Now you see a little kid dart dart down a dark alley. The the rabbi goes to the priest and he goes, "Dude, <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. God damn it, I'm gonna walk out. <laughs> you can cut it off right now." <laughs> well, all right. Thank you guys for joining us for another episode of the Lemon Hour. We'll see you next week and uh, have a good day, guys. Hey, Mike. Mike-